a tad unnerving opening up your portfolio statement. The stock market is losing ground and it has average investors feeling queasy. Joining us now by Skype, Ed Jertsen of Mac Investment Securities, here to calm our fears. Good morning to you. Hi, Angie. What should people do in this market? What are your clients asking you? Well, coming away from a very good year last year, January is sort of a wake-up call for a lot of individual investors. You know, their January statements won't won't seem to be too painful, but if this downslide continues, you know, the February March statements might be just a little bit less uh, uh, able for them to handle. Are you planning to tell clients to stay the course, or do you think it's time to put some money to work, or maybe take some money out of the market? Yeah, that's a great question. I think for individual investors, it's more of a function of do we think, again, we're going to have sort of this EU crisis or something that we had back in 1997 with the currency crises. So I think I don't see that in the future. I don't see that in the near term as long as the emerging markets sort of stay the course. What is your game plan? Well, right now, we're, we're kind of hedged the market right now. We're looking at what, one of the things we're really concerned with is a lot of the hedge funds that are out there had a pretty dismal year, year last year. So from that standpoint, there be, might be a lot of money, a lot of trading money heading into those emerging markets to try to capture some of those downside gains. And that can kind of exasperate whatever move might happen. Those are the things we're really watching and paying attention to right now. Ed, what can people do who are nervous so that they can sleep at night? Yeah, nerves in the stock market kind of go hand in hand. If you're an investor who can't handle the ups and downs, forget about the long-term retirement because you're going to worry yourself to death. So you want to find that balance that makes you comfortable enough to be able to withstand the downs in the marketplace. But more importantly, you need those equity gains for the long term because even an average retiree, let's say who retires at 65, is going to be around potentially for another 20 plus years. So it's good to have some safe play money and some risky money in the market. Good to have you on the show, Ed. We feel better already. Thanks, Angie. Have a good day.